Hello friends, this video on motion and time part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have got a good idea about motion, let us talk about these two types of motion, uniform and non-uniform motion. So what is uniform motion? Uniform means something which happens smoothly, something which happens, you know, like uh, uh, very regularly. So that is uniform. So a body is said to be in uniform motion if it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time. So what it means is, let's say this is a car. And this car is moving uniformly. So if I say uniformly, that means for every interval of time, it is covering the same distance. That is, for example, it started from point A and it reached point B. Right. So that's how the car moved here. Now, what I mean to say is, let's suppose that in the first time interval, say in a time period of one minute, it covered a distance of, say, let's say 500 meters. In the next one minute, it again covers 500 meters. Again, in the next one minute, it covers 500 meters. So, if it covers same distance in an equal interval of time, then we say that the motion is uniform. Whereas, when we talk about non-uniform motion, that means uh, it covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time. So as you can see in this picture, so here you have different uh, vehicles. So all of these are moving with different speeds. So sometimes it covers more distances, sometimes it covers less distances. So as you can see here, the orange colored car, so it initially was like moving very slowly. So just look at this, look at the green car and the red car, they are like moving gradually, so they are moving at the same speed. But if you look at the orange car, what do you observe? You observe that initially the car is moving slow and then suddenly it starts moving fast. So that means it is not covering equal distances in equal intervals of time. So this tells you the difference between uniform and non-uniform motion. So in case of non-uniform motion, maybe in the first say one minute it travels 200 meters. It can happen that in the next one minute it travels 500 meter. Again, it might happen that in the next one minute, it travels 10 meters. So this is an example of non-uniform motion. Now, looking at the distance time graphs, you can interpret a lot of things. Now that you know what is uniform motion, what is non-uniform motion, so we know a lot of things. So let us look at different distance time graphs and let's see what kind of information do we get from them. So let's say this is the distance on the y-axis, this is time on the x-axis. So if you have a graph like this, what does this mean? So this is the line of the graph. That means the time is increasing. As time increases, the distance covered remains the same. So that means the object is not covering any distance with time. That means the object is not moving at all. The object is located at the same position. So that is why the distance covered is same. It is, it is at 3. So even though the time is increasing. So this would mean that the body is at rest. So the body is not moving. Body is not in motion. So looking at the graph itself, we could uh, interpret that the body is not moving. Let's look at another case. So here you see a different graph. So here you have a graph like this where you see the time is increasing. So each point on the graph, if you try to look at each of these points, they will correspond to a point on the x-axis and a point on the y-axis. And as time is increasing, as the value of time is increasing from 1 to 2, from 2 to 3, similarly, the distance covered is also increasing from 1 to 2 and 2 to 3. So as time is increasing, distance is also increasing in this case. And also here you see that in the first interval of time, that is in one unit of time. So if, if we say that this is an hour, so in the first one hour it traveled one kilometer. In the second one hour it traveled 
again 1 km in the third one hour it traveled again 1 km so it is covering equal distances in equal intervals of time so that means the body is in uniform motion so just looking at the graph we could say that the body is in uniform motion so i hope you understood this so this is the first one hour this is the second one hour so how much distance is traveled in this second one hour so how will you calculate that so till two hours the total distance traveled is two kilometer but in the first one hour one kilometer is traveled so two minus one one so one kilometer is traveled in the second interval and so on let's look at case three here we have a graph which is similar to the case two but here it is not passing through the origin so what does that show that shows that initially the graph is like this so that means initially as time was increasing the distance was not increasing and only after that distance started increasing so initially the object was at rest so this portion till this much time the object was at rest and only after this the object started moving and when it started moving it started moving uniformly so whenever you have a straight line like this it shows uniform motion but initially the object was at rest case 4 so here you have a curvy line so it shows that yes if you consider any point on the uh, curve you see that time is increasing at each of these points so as time is increasing what do you see the distance is also increasing which shows that the body is moving of course but it is not moving uniformly so in the first one hour it traveled this much distance in the second one hour how much distance it traveled it traveled this much distance which is more in the third one hour that is maybe here so you see again it traveled less so the distance traveled in each interval of time is different so this graph portrays non-uniform motion so therefore whenever an object is in uniform motion the graph would be a straight line if the graph is a curved line that means it is non-uniform motion thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again